Hey, it's Mr. D back again for a quick little lesson on the note B flat. A lot of method books start with this note, and I know in my other videos I talked about G, A, B, and C, and then we learned D, E flat, and F. Uh, but one note I wanted to do just a quick lesson on was the note B flat. Um, so go grab your flute. You may need to stop the video to get it. Go set it up, and uh, let me show you the fingering. I'm going to show you what it sounds like. We'll do a couple little. Um, back and forth uh, so you get a sense of what the note sounds like and feels like in your hands and then you're going to apply what we've learned here in our short mini lesson um, in your book, in your method book. You're going to find the songs that have the B flat and go over them. Okay, um, so in a, like I said in my other videos, uh, we're, I'm showing you what the fingerings uh, look like, uh, what the note sounds like, and then once you have been comfortable fingering the notes and get them under your finger, so to speak, you want to apply them to your method books because the other real big important component to being a musician is reading music. We have to read music. It's one of those things um, that you just have to do and we'll have some uh, lessons on note reading coming up. But right now, hopefully you have your flute and we are going to talk about B flat. Um, we're going to start with your right hand. Now remember we, when we talked about holding the flute, the right hand um, is pointed away from you and you're going to put your uh, pinky and thumb in those two uh, spots that I taught you about in my earlier videos. And your pointer, this is your pointer, is going to go on the third key from the bottom. Okay, so third key from the bottom, third key from the uh, teardrop shape right here. So we have one, two, three, pointer. Then put your thumb down and your pinky. Okay, so that's the lower part of the fingering. All right, let's try it one more time. Hand off, put your pinky and thumb down and your pointer on the third key up. Okay, compare your fingers with mine. All right, now let's move to the uh, left hand. The left hand is going to press just the pointer and then um, just the thumb on the paddle key. Okay, so remember the paddle key we talked about, looks like this right here. Your thumb's going to press the paddle key and then the pointer on the second key down. I like to call this the starting note. This is all the fingerings in the flute are, are based pretty much around starting on this note right here. Okay. Um, a lot of teachers refer to this fingering as one and one. It's your first finger and another one, one in each hand, one and one. Um, pointer, pointers in each hand. That's also referred to. Okay. And um, so now that we have that, we're going to bring our flute over to our um, where. Uh, the flute rests on our embouchure. We talked about it in another video. So I called it the sweet spot, if you remember. We're going to breathe in and tongue the note, B flat. Try it again. If you saw my articulation video, you'll know that I'm going to start with the word to or do. Um, when I play these notes. If you haven't seen the tonguing or the articulation video, you might want to go over it because your note may sound like this. Okay, so that's a start, but you want to check out that articulation video because that's going to really help uh, fine tune the sound of the B flat. So here's that B flat again. Now, I'm going to show you without my other fingers just so you get a, uh, so I can show you what the note looks like. Okay. Now I mentioned in other videos when you're when there's keys that you're not playing, you're resting. You're getting in the habit of resting your fingers um, gently on top of the key. Now when you start as a beginning flute player, you may feel like the flute's going to fall out of your hands. But if you have it firmly placed on the lip, and then your right hand pinky is holding it, squeezing with the thumb, um, you should. It should be firmly enough uh, in position that it doesn't feel like it's going to fall off your uh, your lip. Okay. If it's loose, then it might slip out. Okay. So here we go. Again, I'm doing the pointers of both hands, and then I'm just gently resting the rest of my fingers on the keys of the flute. Okay? Pointers only. And then I'm just resting. Let's try it one more time. Let's do four of them. Ready? Listen. Now you echo. Two, two, two. 
listen to me. Your turn. Okay, good. So in summary, because again, this is just a short video on the note B flat, we have uh, the, th the left thumb, press that with the pointer, and then um, pinky, pointer in the third key from the bottom, and the thumb in the back for the note B flat. I'll move my finger so you can see. And then again, I'm gonna rest them gently on there. Away, and gently. Okay, let's do it one more time. Breathe in before we stop. Great, okay, so what I want you to do right now is to go to your method book that you received from your teacher. And I want you to figure out or find the song that um, uses the note B flat in it, the very first song where they introduce the B flat. And I want you to go over that exercise a whole bunch of times. Okay, so you get a sense of what B flat feels like. Now remember, try to memorize where the B flat uh, note is on the musical staff line. It's really important. Okay, so in the meantime, keep practicing. If you have any questions, go to the contact link at the top of this website. Um, if you're one of my private students, please uh, see me separately, and I'd be more than happy to help you. Okay, in the meantime, keep practicing, and we'll talk to you soon.